we all know that the animals are a pride of any country, especially the dogs, as they are the man's best friend. They are the ones who understand and also can relate their feelings with a man's feeling the best. The Stafford Bull Terrier dogs, or also known as the English Bull Terrier dogs, are one of Great Britain's own breed. They were bred and also bought up in England. They are the native breed of this place. The native breed, that is the Stafford Bull Terrier dogs, are today disowned by many of their owners. They are sent back to rescue homes as they feel that these dogs are violent and also harm the people both inside and outside their houses. But this is not the truth. It is a myth that these are harmful. They are as friendly as the other home dogs or the family dogs better known. Today we are here at the Edge Baston Reservoir to talk to a few owners of these dogs and find out if this is a myth or reality that these dogs are harmful. Hi, uh, what's the name? My name is Roxy. Okay. And your name? I'm Elaine. Okay, so how is it having Roxy at home? How is she as a pet at home? Uh, absolutely amazing. Okay. She lives with young children, she loves them. She lives with other dogs, or foster dogs as well, and she accepts any dog that comes into the house. She's just brilliant, really lovely nature. Doesn't stop licking. Lick, 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 lick. <laughs> That's all she wants to do, she really is. I can't, I don't know, I can't advise her enough, I couldn't fault her. Mm -hmm. His name's Benji. Mm -hmm. How old is he? He's about seven or eight. I found him about three years ago. And um, uh, his, his owner came forward in 26 days and she was a drug addict. I had to give him back. Um, but he ran away and came back to me and sat outside my house for three hours. So she decided I could have him and love him to bits. Very good at home. Um, he's, he's pack leader. I have a Rottweiler as well, a little blind dog, and he's very protective of them. He looks after them. Uh, so yeah, wonderful, wonderful with the grandchildren. He loves children. So you heard of the issue where a lot of them are sending it back to the yes, rescue houses, yes. thinking they're wild. Yes. What would you like to tell us about that? I think to anyone who gets a dog, research them and, and find out what they're about. They can be a shock, they're very lively, but they repay you with so much love, it's unbelievable. I've, I've had all sorts of dogs and these, I'd, I'd have a stuffy again any day. Would you like to give some advice to people who are sending these dogs back to the rescue houses? Yeah, try not to, because there's so many put to sleep every day. Just simply for the fact that there's not enough homes for them. And to the staffy breeders out there, don't breed. There's enough strays to go round. I totally agree with you. They're such mm, wonderful dogs that they, they should be kept at home yes. then. Yes. Them back. And get some training done because a little bit of training goes along. They want to please, they are a dog that wants to please. And when the wrong type of people get hold of them and train them to be nasty and aggressive, it's not their nature, it's not their natural nature, but they just want to please their owner. Mm -hmm. So it's basically on the training that helps. Yes, you. yes, yeah. they need some training. They can be lively and, and a little bit hyper, but they pay you back a hundredfold. Thank you so much okay. for your time. It's so nice talking to you. Hi. Uh, what's his name? Ty. And yours? Lisa. A lot of people are sending these dogs to rescue home these days because they think they're too wild. Mm. So what do you think about that? I, I think they're a very easy dog to train. I think you've got to train them when they're young. Um, and you'll get the best dog you've ever had. He was an ex bait dog. One treat. Sit still then. Look, what's this? What's this? Look. That's it. Turn around then. This way. Come on, come this way. Sit, sit down. Sit. Can I have your paw? Good boy. Can I have that paw? Thank you. Good boy. Can you go down? Down. Wait. Um, so we were practically feral when we had him and 
within six months we turned him around and he's, he's perfect, the best dog I've ever had. So as everyone says, it's a training that changes a dog. Training is important, boundaries, lots of love as well and they need a lot of exercise. We're at the Birmingham Dogs Home and this is the place where the owners drop off their dogs. Each dog has a kennel of its own where it's fed. They're also taken for a walk and there are a lot of volunteers who are here to help these dogs. So the vet comes in and any dogs that have just come in have to have a check off the vet. Any dogs that are due to go out have to have a final vet check and any dogs that have obviously had any reported illnesses or whatnot have to see the vet. So basically we have a list of, dog, list of dogs that are on the vets for a particular day. So staff members will take that dog in to see the vet and then the vet will check it over and whatnot. So that's basically it really. My name is Helen Dolan, I'm Assistant Manager of Birmingham Dogs Home. Uh, could you tell me how many dogs per week are, come, are coming to the rescue home? It varies, sometimes we could have one or two and then in other times we could ten, even more than ten, up to fifteen it could be, it all depends. Uh, I heard that a lot of these Stafford Bull Terrier dogs are being brought to the rescue home, what would you like to say about that? That's right, the majority of our dogs are Staffordshire Bull Terriers. It's really disappointing that we have so many of those dogs in because it's not the dog's fault that they've got that sort of a bad name. It's, any dog can have a bad name. It's the owners. The owners have to bring that dog up properly if they have it from a pup. They have to bring it up properly and train it properly. A lot of the Staffordshire Bull Terriers have been used for various things um, and that's why they've got that bad name. But why there is so many in here, it's just unbelievable. Okay, and a lot of these dogs are becoming victims of um, the breed specific element of the Dangerous Dogs Act. Um, there's a type of dog, a pit bull type they're calling it, which basically comes down to measurements rather than a breed, um, so it's how the dog looks. So decent family dogs are being taken from their homes and, and put to sleep purely because of how they look. I mean it's, it's a canine racism or canine um, genocide taking them because of how they are and euthanizing them. And look, it's, it has to be deed, not breed. So if a dog's dangerous, it's its nature that's dangerous. A dog can't be deemed dangerous just by the way it looks. We wouldn't think about doing that to human beings. If we did, there'd be outrage. Um, so we need to start looking at it in the same way. For, for dogs. We don't need to breed any more dogs. We've got lots of dogs. We've got puppies needing homes. We've got older dogs needing homes, younger dogs needing homes, all in rescues around the region and around the country. Um, so there's no need. Why, why buy a dog when there are dogs in, in shelters that, that need homes? There are needy dogs everywhere. Why make more? Not all breeds Actually, none of the breeds of the dogs are dangerous. They are either trained to be dangerous or involved in games and which make them dangerous. For example, the pit bull and the bull terrier dogs. They both are trained to be dangerous and are trained to fight. There are a lot of games that we see in Great Britain which are fought between these two dogs. And this is why the people have a myth that these dogs are dangerous. It is not just the Stafford Bull Terriers or the Pit Bulls that act violent. Any dog can be trained to act violent. And it is but obvious that if the dogs are trained to act violent, they would definitely harm people around the surroundings. A properly trained man is a dog's best friend. <laughs> 